All right, here we go. The mighty return of Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> Welcome back to Vlad TV. Thanks for having me. Of course, man. One of my favorite guests. It's been too long. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, congratulations been on your success on your platform. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, shout out the URL for people that don't know. Yeah, yeah. I uh, got No Chill Gil is my personal. Okay. And uh, Gil's Arena is, is the big sports one. Yes. That we have right out of the house. Congrats, man. I've seen a lot of views on it. A lot of big guests. Mm -hmm. you're, you're doing your thing. Thank you. Thank you're you. Your thing. Thank you. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about today, and usually we start off with sports, but right now, things are so crazy right now in the hip-hop world with Diddy. Yeah. A.K.A. the Diddler. <laughs> the Diddler. A.K.A. no Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you had that big million-dollar party, uh -huh. Diddy hosted it? Yeah. Okay. Host it. Host, host it. it. Host it. Yeah. Host it. Yeah, yeah. How would you pay him to host it? To... I think back then with 250,000. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Okay, but back then, that he was, was doing lot. that type of level, you know. Yeah, you know what's so funny? I, I reached out to uh, Hove, Hove first because I was trying to negotiate with rappers to get the rappers first, and they mm -hmm. said, you need a host name first. And um, once you get a host, once people see it's legit, then they're at. So I said, all right, let me go after Hove. You know, Hove... Uh, his team hit back like 500000 And he said the reason his price is that high is because he doesn't want to do it. Uh. He doesn't want to do the party because too much liability. Now, if I'm going to pay him that, then he'll do it. Yeah. And then he they, they put they gave me some rules of make it private because people are going to ask, you know, uh, about the bar and how much you're going to make off the door. So then I made it private. And then he was like, why don't you reach out to Diddy? Diddy loves throwing parties. He doesn't care about that type of stuff. Yeah. So I reached out to him. He said, yeah, once I had Diddy on the ticket, then all the rappers that I was trying to get before said, cool. Mm. Right? So I had Wayne, T.I., Game, and Busta Rhymes. Okay. Yeah, I just had Game on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So apart from that So party, it wasn't a Diddy party. It was, a, it was your party hosted by It was by my Diddy. party, yes. Right. It wasn't a Diddy party. <laughs> <laughs> Which is now has a whole stigma attached yeah, no, to it. No, no, Diddy party is yeah, like, uh oh, yeah. uh oh. So I mean, outside of this event, did you have a relationship with Diddy at all? No. Okay. Never, never met him before. Or after, I mean, you know, the, the kids go to the same school. Yeah. Um. Never had a problem with him. Okay, and since you're throwing the party, from what I understand, you were really busy, so it's not like you really hung out with Diddy or anyone else or anything. No, nah, like, nah, yeah, you were, no, you were trying nah, to just make, like it, make it. I happen. mean, it was yeah. it's a club, right? Yeah, it's, it's not exactly. a house party. You know, this is a this is a club environment. Um, he did a great job. Uh, he he brought in uh, was it Dougie Fresh? Oh, so you know there was a you know a great host though. You yeah. know it was it was a blast. Helped me get into the All Star game. So when you heard about the Fed raid, his L.A. home, his Miami home were raided. His sons uh, Quincy and King were handcuffed. Mm -hmm. He was on a private plane somewhere. But from what I understand, he's cooperating with authorities and everything else like that. When you heard about this, how did you how did you react to it? Um, one, when when a speculation that he was on a jet fleeing, yeah, I already knew that was cap. Because when the feds hit, right, they know exactly where you are at all times. They've been watching you for four or five days. It's not some fucking television show where you know, they, they go to the um, the judge and get it written off and then they come right to you. Nah, it's a planned attack, yeah. right? So um, if they if he was a suspect that they were actually trying to get, they would have waited till he was in the house. So when they hit him around 11, 12, yeah. right? That means they was waiting for him to actually leave because yeah. what they were probably looking for was... Um, safes that they could break into. Mm -hmm. They see if he had any documents in there, looking for tapes, looking for surveillance stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, that's when I knew like, okay, they don't have, they don't really have anything for him. They're still searching because most raids happen about four or five in the morning. Yeah. If they're trying to get you, right? Four or five in the morning, two, three a.m., right? It's, it's that early morning where your sleep caught off, off guard. So the fact that they did it at 11, 12, meaning they weren't looking for him, they're looking for all the information that they're gathering at this moment in time. Well, yeah, I mean, at this point, he hasn't been charged. 
And you know, I mean, the thing is, though, if he hasn't been charged, he still has his passport. Mm-hmm. To me, like, for example, I know Russell Simmons, mm-hmm. right? I feel like Russell Simmons is the smartest guy of them all. Mm-hmm. When he thought that something was coming down the line, he left. He sold his house in West Hollywood. Mm-hmm. He sold his condo in New York. He sold his Basquiat Warhol. Mm-hmm. He cashed out. Mm-hmm. He went to Bali and built a hotel. There's no extradition policy. Mm-hmm. And he's just chilling. Now, he's been going back and forth because he hasn't been charged with anything. But he said, listen, man, I'm an older man. If I get hemmed up in this, it's going to be the equivalent of life. Yeah. I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Why would I risk a single day in prison when I can go live in paradise in a different part of the world? I I, I get it. Yeah. (laughs) I get it. Diddy still has his passport because he hasn't been charged. Mm -hmm. He can totally do that right now, can't he? No. Yeah, he can. He can leave anytime he wants. Um, my whole thing with it is, I know, I don't know, is it Little Rail? Little Rod? Little Rod. Yeah. What is his actual, what is his claim? Because this is the problem with the Homeland Security. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of Homeland Security coming in for a civil case. Well, it's not a civil case. It might be based on the civil case. Yes. It's, a, it's definitely a criminal case. With Who's fouling? The criminal part. The feds. The feds? Yes. What case does the feds have? Well, you're about to find out. Okay. (laughs) You know, when when the charges come down. Oh, wait. (laughs) There's no charges. Oh, I'm thinking you was about to tell me. No, no. No, no. He's not charged with anything. Okay, so what that's what I'm saying. So they're saying it's allegedly over sex trafficking and everything else like that. And they had to have a judge sign off on it in order to do the raids. So they must have no physical evidence. No, no, no. We don't know what the raid was for. We hear what people are saying and throwing out right. their spaghetti. We don't know what what is the warrant, who's seen the warrant that they went in for, right? So we don't know what the actual warrant says of why they went into the properties. So that's what I'm saying. So Homeland Security coming in at that moment in time, what are they really after? Because right now it's a civil case of his producer or someone who was helping him do songs, right? Yeah, I mean, there's He's a whole civil... Well, I mean, there's a bunch of cases, right? Yeah, that's what I'm I mean, saying. What is the, the actual... Cassie case, there's the civil case. I mean, well, Cassie he, case is over. Well, it is and it isn't. Okay. Right? And let me explain to you why. Because Cassie filed a civil lawsuit against Diddy mm-hmm. where she alleged a whole bunch that's... of insane, insane things. Mm-hmm. He settled that lawsuit within a day. Yeah. And I'm 100% positive she signed an NDA. Okay. But... When it comes to a criminal case, a an NDA is considered a private agreement. Mm-hmm. So she may not be able to speak about it publicly in terms of writing a book or doing a documentary, doing interviews. But if she gets subpoenaed by the feds, mm-hmm. she will have the opportunity to say whatever she wants on the stand. So every single detail in that civil case could potentially end up being in this criminal case. So the feds will look at civil cases and say, okay, there's a lot here. And yes, he's paying all these people off to make the civil cases go away, but we could pick all these up. Just like, for example, you could beat a state case and the feds could pick it up and charge you all over again. Mm -hmm. 